Samsung Electronic Company's first quarter profits slumped 40% as the rising South Korean won made its devices more expensive in overseas markets and consumers switched to Apple Inc's larger iPhones. Net income, excluding minority interest, fell to 4.52 trillion won or 4.2 billion dollars in the three months ended March, the Suwon, South Korea-based company said in a filing on 29th of April. Samsung's rival Apple this week posted a 33% jump in profit in the quarter that ended in March driven by strong demand for the larger iPhone 6 devices and sales growth in China. iPhone unit sales jumped 40% to 61.2 million, topping analyst average prediction for 58.1 million, based on data compiled by Bloomberg. Globally, demand for smartphones has been increasingly polarized to either top-end or bottom-end devices. Galaxy devices have been squeezed somewhere in between, at least until the S6 came out. Lee Jae-yoon, an analyst at Yuanta Securities Korea company said before the earnings release. Samsung has projected record sales for the new high-end smartphones which include the S6 Edge with a wraparound screen. Samsung will sell 46 million units of the S6 models this year with the more expensive curved model comprising half of shipments, according to estimates from Kevin Lee, an analyst at Korea Investment and Securities company. The S6 Edge with 64GB of memory cost the company $290.45, including materials and production, according to IHS. It retails for $799.99 at Verizon. A comparable iPhone 6 Plus has a teardown cost of $240.05, it said. In 2015, continued growth is expected due to the growth of emerging smartphone markets, such as China and India. However, increased competition in the middle to low-end market and a possible decrease in demand due to the impact of foreign exchange rates in specific regions may present challenges, Samsung said in an email statement to Bloomberg.